Hello everybody, this is Isa. So today we're going to talk about the essential eyeshadows, okay? So when you start, when if you are a beginner, when you, how to start your collection, you know? Which shadows are essential to do a good eyeshadow look, right? So first we're going to see the shadows, right? The most essential ones. So those are... In my opinion, that's what you need, okay? If you just start, that's what you need. So first of all, we have here this color. That's a light color. The name is Vanilla from MAC. It doesn't have to be MAC. It can be any brand, okay? So this one is Vanilla from MAC, and it's a very light color that you can use in your eyelids. Even if you want to do like a subtle look, you can use that in your eyelids. You know, and you can go all up to your uh, brow bone and everything like that. And it's really good. I recommend. Okay. Many brands do shadows like this. So that's kind of you prime your lids first. And then you apply the shadow. And then you start, you know, putting the other shadows to help you blend. That's how it works. Okay. So, and then we have a light brown. This is also essential for your collection because it's a transition shade, okay? You're going to put the light brown on your crease and then you're going to go blending. And this helps blend all the other shadows, okay? And then we have the dark brown. Also, you put on top of the light brown, you know, and especially if you have like small eyes, puffy eyes, it's good you use the brown because the brown kind of helps with this. And that's a very neutral color you can use with any outfit. It's it's really good. And I personally, I really like this color. That's a Sketch from MAC. Uh, I've tried so many brands. I never, I've never seen any color like that, okay? So this is like a burgundy color. It has a little shimmery on it, but it, it doesn't transfer to your eyelids. So let me show you guys. And I like to mix a sketch with brown just to give a pop of color so i like to mix with the with the dark brown and the light brown and it just gives a little a pop of color you know and then this is also good to as, as a transition shade to blend and everything so this like for a daily look i think it's perfect for everyday makeup you know, it's nothing really extravagant. It, it's perfect. Okay, so those shadows I really recommend. And then there is also another eyeshadow. Is this one in the middle. That is also a very neutral color. That's the, the name of it is Shell. 64V Shell. Okay, and this is a Natasha Denona. The, these eyeshadows, the quality is really, really good. They blend so easily. They smooth. They are perfect, okay? And this color, I also like to apply in the crease. You can blend and stuff like that. And this is before you apply the dark shadows, you know? So I'm really a big fan. That's kind of like a rose, antique gold, you know, but it's a light color. But I'm really, really into that color lately. I really like berries, pinks. That's what I've been into lately. Burgundy shades, you know, and browns, because I think browns are perfect for people with small eyes, especially. I don't like black, even that I do think you should have a black eyeshadow in your collection. Because, you know, if you want to do like a date night look, you know, and if you want to put in the inner corners, you can apply the black and it, it, it can work it out or, or you can do a smoky eye with the black. But for small eyes, I don't really like the black. You know, that's my preference. I prefer use brown. You know, so it's up to you. But for deeper eyes and big eyes, with a lot of space in the eyelids, uh, black is perfect. And also put a, a black eyeliner, it looks really good. Okay. And then I have this other palette also. 
And I have a caller here. Oh, let me see. Back also. Okay, so this we have nylon from Mac. This one has a kind of like a, a yellow undertone. And this is good for highlight. Actually, you can use this color as a highlighter. It would be similar to Mary Luminizer highlighter, you know, and you can also apply in the inner corners of your eyes right here to give that, that pop, you know, so it's really pretty for that. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it's a good highlight color. Okay, or there is another one. So this one I have been applying a lot. Naked lunch, you know, it's really good too, but that's more like a pink, a pink undertone to it. Okay, that's really, I consider the best. And I really like those customized palettes. So you can do your own, you know, it doesn't have to be MAC, like I said, but you can choose the shadows that you think you're going to use the most. And then we have the black, the dark black eyeshadow, this one right here. You know, like I said, you can use it here in the end of the eyes, uh, near the lash line to just give a pop, you know. And it's black, 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 black. Okay, but I'm not a big fan of black eyeshadows. Okay. And before you apply the, the black, of course, you can blend with the browns and the burgundy, and then you put the black a little bit in here in the corner or just near the lash line, and it will look really good. You know, so this is a good tip. Okay, so this is what I think is the essentials, eyeshadows. Um, remember, I'm not getting paid to talk about those brands, you know. So like I said, you can choose anything, any brand you want. It doesn't have to be those specific brands. That's what I have at home. And I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comments. In the, in the box below, uh, subscribe to my channel, share my videos with families and friends. Um, so I'm going to try keep doing videos at least once a week. So we're going to have this time to talk about makeup and fashion. It's going to be the Sunday makeup tips. Okay. Hope you guys enjoy it and have a good Sunday. Bye.